Hey guys, it's Sanem, or welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm gonna to be doing um, a first impressions on the makeup I got in my haul. If you guys have not checked out my haul, definitely do. So most of these products I'll be testing out today, but there's still a bunch that I need to put to the test in another video, because I can't show it all in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Today I am gonna be using the Morphe and Ariel 12 piece brush set. So I already use the eye brushes in like every single video, but I recently, got the face brushes which I'm going to be testing out in this video today as well which I'm so excited because I've wanted these for a long time and I really want to see if the face brushes are really good. So let's go into the first product which is the one I'm most excited to try out and this is a high-end product a little pricey this is the Chanel Healthy Glow Sheer Fluid Highlighter and this one is in the shade Pearly Glow and this is basically a like I don't want to say liquid highlighter because it's not actually a highlight it's more of a base product you can mix it in with foundation or you can use it alone underneath foundation or just on no makeup makeup days so this is what it looks like right here it's a beautiful beautiful product it's very glowy and radiant very pearly so this is it it's a little on the runny side i have high hopes for this Ooh. smells very Chanel oh my god it's very natural there's barely any like shimmer in there it's just more of a very luminous glow I do feel like though I have to keep going in with like quite a bit to build up the glow so I'm actually using two pumps now but look at this oh my god I love it. There's barely any colour to it as well, which I absolutely love. Um, and I would 100% use this as my moisturiser and like glowy product mix in on days where I don't want to wear makeup. And I could just walk out of the house like this with a little bit of mascara. This is absolutely beautiful on the skin it feels very moisturizing i've been getting a little bit of dry texture lately around this area and it's really just smoothing over it and feeling super like nourishing and hydrating on the skin it feels a tiny bit tacky but it's not slippery it's not oily it's not overly like tacky as well it just sets into the skin really nicely so for foundation today i'm going to be using the makeup forever hd foundation this one is one of my favorites my holy grail foundation i'm going to be using it in the shade y215 and i am going to be using one of the brushes as well so let's go ahead with this one right here which i've seen a lot of people use for foundation. This one is the Ariel brush in A24. Oh my God, absolutely flawless application with this brush. It's so soft, so soft, but I don't know if it takes away like product. I'm not really sure, maybe a little. Yeah, it looks great. So that is my foundation pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead with concealer really quickly. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. Let me know as well what uh, products do you guys want to see me review for you, any new upcoming products. I did just review as well the Charlotte Tilbury New Beautiful Skin Foundation. It's up on my channel already if you did miss that. So next I have the She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light Pink. This is from Shein's makeup line and this one is, I got it in light pink although they have a translucent as well. So first of all absolutely love the packaging. It's very just simple but like almost glam at the same time. Um, yeah really love just like the easy packaging comes with a nice puff as well didn't know it had a puff with it so that's great pretty much like a really pale pink brightening shade which i have been looking for a powder like that forever i know kylie cosmetics has a pink translucent powder tap a little in the lid like that a lot comes out it looks like a really nice pale pink it's a very very fine powder it feels like so soft doesn't have a scent either which I love it's super super fine and like super soft yeah that's absolutely beautiful I will say I don't really see a glow at all 
with this powder. The pink isn't really pink either. It's almost still like a translucent, but for some reason it just makes my under eyes look really nice. And it honestly looks absolutely flawless underneath. Like doesn't look like I've put powder on there because it's so fine. So yes, I wouldn't say it's like a uh, glowy or anything like that. It's definitely more matte, but it's absolutely beautiful on the skin and it's a little, it's not really brightening, but it's still absolutely beautiful because it's so fine and so smoothing. Next, we have a brow pencil and this one is from Refi, Refi which is, I believe, Jessica Hunt's brand. And this is the brow pencil in the shade medium. This is what it looks like. Comes with a spoolie as well. And the tip is so, so, so fine. So let's go ahead and try it out. Ooh, very pigmented and very creamy. Oh my God. The only thing I would say right off the bat is it's a very like warm brown. It's not really cool toned. It's very like reddish almost, the undertone. Yeah, I don't know if I love the shade. It's a great brow pencil, but it's very warm. Very warm. I will say though, it's very creamy. It just glides instantly. Like it's not a stiff brow pencil. It's so, so, so creamy that you can just get your brows done instantly. You don't even have to do too much work to them because the pigment just kind of glides through and it's not a drying brow pencil. But I like the formula of the brow pencil, so I'll probably need to get a different shade. But that is pretty much the brows done. I couldn't do too much anyway because my brows are already full, but actually it's not bad. It definitely matches my hair colour at the moment, which by the way, I'm getting my hair done again like soon very very soon and i'm just gonna go darker and more cooler like um this is just too orangey yellow for me and i don't like it for bronzer i'm gonna be going into this one which i have not used yet and this is the morphe glamour bronze face and body bronzer in the shade mastermind which i picked up a while back and i still haven't used it so i need to use up products that are just sitting in my collection and this is a gigantic bronzer, but it's a really nice light shade. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, definitely, definitely a very smooth formula. I feel like it's a very light formula. So what that means is it's very buildable, very buildable. I will say that Chanel product is a little too perfumey. I hope it doesn't break me out, but I can smell the perfume. Kind of reminds me of like Huda Beauty's scents in her products. It's exactly like that, like quite perfumey. This is a great one. I'm actually really liking this. The only thing is it is quite light. So I feel like I just keep going in with a lot of products to really build up the color, but I love the tone of it, the tone of the bronzer. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics blush in Pink Power, which is my first time trying out her blushes. This is the shade. I already did swatch it in my haul. So it's a really beautiful, like pale, cool pink. And I'm going to be using this blush brush from the Morphe set, A58. First of all, the blush color is absolutely like the most beautiful little doll pink blush. Oh my goodness. And the brush, I don't know if it's just this combo, but the brush is the perfect, perfect blush brush. It just places it in the right area. It's not too small, not too big, but it's so fluffy yet dense. So you can really blend it, but also pack on the color nicely. I love discovering new products and new favorites, and this is gonna be one of them. This is gonna be my go-to blush from now on for a while because this is absolutely beautiful on the skin. It's not too purpley, it's not too cool toned. It's just the perfect light pink blush that I think is gonna be so flattering. I can't control myself. But this is it, super pretty. So next I'm gonna be going into eyeshadow and I'm gonna be going into two palettes today. I'm gonna be going into the Makeup by Mario Master Metals eyeshadow palette and also the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette. So let's go ahead and start with the NYX one just for my transition shades. This is my first time ever trying a NYX eyeshadow palette, I know. So this is it right here, beautiful 
just warm tones for every single day. So the first shade I'm gonna go, go into is this one right here, which is a really nice, like, I don't know what you would call that, just standard, nice little brown shade. And I'm applying that in the crease and I'm using the Ariel blending brush for this. This one is the A11. Very impressed so far because I honestly thought NYX's eyeshadows were gonna be like super not pigmented and patchy, but it's actually a very nice formula. So next I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is like a nice burgundy and same brush just to build up a little bit of a burgundy shade. These are very pigmented. I am, I am shocked by this quality. I did not expect, I mean, I barely went into it and it's just, I don't know. I didn't expect much from NYX's eyeshadows, but how it's going on and blending without any patchiness, it all looks very smooth on the eyes. Next, I'm gonna go into a little bit of this lighter burgundy and just kind of pack that on the lid. And I'm gonna be using gold on the eyes now. But before I do, let's go ahead and finish off with a little bit of this cream ivory right here. This just softens everything up, but also it's like the perfect matte bone shade highlight. It's almost literally like my skin. I'm gonna go into the Makeup by Mario Master Metals palette and specifically go in with the gold shade. So this is what it looks like. It's stunning, but I am gonna go mainly into this gold right here. If it is too gold, maybe I'll mix a little bit of like these shades, we'll see. Oh my God. Ooh, that is so silky and very pigmented without using an eyeshadow base and without wetting it, which is a very great sign. It's a really, really, really shiny foiled eyeshadow, which I can just imagine at night would look so beautiful. I am gonna be using this wet on top as well, just to see how intense we can get it. I am gonna go into this shade, the orange, and apply it right here, just in the center. Ooh. Blend the two into one. Oh my God, I love it. It just adds a soft transition between these two shades because it is quite harsh. So I've wet my brush and let's go ahead. I'm so scared. Oh my God, you can already see it's gonna be just like liquid gold on the eyes. Yeah, even, even, even more intense. And you can really do a cut crease with this as well. I feel like it just, just carves out that crease when you use it wet. Look at that. Do you see the difference? Insane, like it just opens up the eyes. Look at the difference between using it wet and using it dry. Whilst my brush is still wet, I'm just gonna go back into that orange and maybe a little bit of this like copper bronze as well and apply that right there. Same thing, we're just intensifying everything. So that is it for my eyes at the moment. And now I'm gonna go into mascara. For mascara, I'm just gonna be taking my MAC Extend Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. This is a great one for the lower lashes, but I love it for the top as well. We're gonna be doing a winged liner because I just wanna leave it at that. So just to finish off my lower lash, I'm gonna go into a few shades in the NYX palette. So I am gonna be taking that brown again, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this burgundy and just run it and basically mimic like the top on the bottom, but without the gold. And I'm using the Morphe A7. I'm gonna be using this fluffy brush, which apparently is supposed to be for highlight, although it does look a little too big. This is the A22, A22. And I'm gonna be using the MAC Double Gleam Highlighter, which, oh my gosh, I haven't used in a long time. And this is basically just a very pale light gold, which I think would be quite pretty on the cheeks. Maybe this is how Ariel does like Kylie's highlight anyway, just with like a big fluffy brush and not so concentrated. 
This can be used for blush as well. So it actually makes the highlight go on a lot more softer because it's a more a fluffier bristled brush so it's not really packing on a lot of highlight so i think this would be great for you guys who want more of a softer highlight and you just want to kind of dust it on the face so this brush is great to just really add a very soft glow just kind of you can even just dust it all over the face because it's so just fluffy like it barely packs on the pigment these two are the ones that I'm going to be trying today, so I don't know which one I will stick with, but let's first try the Gucci one because it's easier to take off because the matte lip kit is a liquid lipstick. So this is the Gucci Glow and Care Lip Color. And yes, I know, very pricey. It's Gucci. And this is in the shade Sally Soft Honey. And I have to show you the packaging. If you guys haven't seen my haul, check out my haul. I did show all of this. I got but this is absolutely beautiful has Gucci on the top as well and I think this is supposed to be like a very just glowy almost balmy lipstick that adds a beautiful shine oh yeah it's very like a tinted balm you can see right there that's that's beautiful let's see mm, it feels so balmy it's definitely like a balm not a lipstick Wow, has a little bit of a perfumey taste which I can taste in my mouth, which I don't like, but it's so glossy and shiny. Can you see right there? And that's without, of course, like a gloss on top. Like I would not put a gloss on top of this. I'd just walk out the house like this. It gives you a beautiful little color to the lips and a glow and the shine. And your lips look so full. I would definitely get more shades in this. I love what it did to my top lip. Oh my god, this reminds me of just, this reminds me of like old school lip balms that were tinted that were like super glossy and juicy. I love that. I do wish it was a tiny bit more pigmented, but I would honestly rock this maybe with a lip liner, buff it in, and this would be my go-to for the days where I do minimal makeup or I just don't really want to wear like a full-on, full coverage lipstick. This is beautiful. It goes with the look as well, but I will take it off just to try the Kylie one. It's left my lips super soft. Oh my God, love that. So next I'm gonna be going into the Kylie lip kit in the shade Kylie. And I have not tried this shade and I have not tried the new formula of her liquid lipstick and lip liner. This is the lip kit right here. You can see the lip liner isn't matching to it. They purposely did this so the lip liner could be a little darker. So I did swatch this already in the haul but I have not used it yet. So it's a nice like brown neutral color. Oh. I don't remember the lip liners being this creamy. It's so creamy and it makes putting on your lip liner so, 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 so easy. So let's go ahead with the Kylie liquid lipstick now and hope that the two blend. I mean, they are a lip combo for a reason. Ooh. The formula is really nice, the updated formula. It's super airy. Super airy. And it's like a really nice, I don't know, it just dries down to like a, a soft matte. If I'm honest, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm loving that lip liner color i feel like it should have been like a pink lip liner but a little bit deeper because this brown is really just throwing me off i don't know what do you guys think actually it's not bad but i'm not lo loving like the brown here i will say though the formula is incredible it's it's still a little sticky and tacky which was always an issue with her liquid lipsticks so they haven't really gotten rid of that it is quite sticky still, um, so I don't know if I like that, but it's definitely a lot more of a softer, smoother matte. It's not, it doesn't have that drying feel to it. It feels very, very uh, silky, velvety on the lips, but it does have a little tackiness on the corners. So yeah, I love the liquid lipstick color, just not sure if I like the lip liner and the lipstick together, if that makes sense. So let me know what you guys think, but I will leave it at that. I do think it looks absolutely beautiful, the color. Um, I just don't know about the brown lip liner. Let me know all your thoughts down below on all the products. 
Give me all your thoughts and your feedback. Okay, now looking at it, I really like how it made my lips look super full. It just looks like one of those Instagram filters. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you all found it helpful. Let me know if you're gonna be picking up anything or if anything intrigues you. And yeah, I'm actually really starting to like this lipstick. So yeah, kinda, kinda really like it now. But let me know your thoughts down below. I'm gonna let you guys go now as well and I hope you guys are all staying safe. So until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.